All right, so first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Raka Kodash. We said that once the apostles and elders of great multi and rule well, and salutations to the Akimos, they push in the wooden old truth and sincerity, the in and the out, they hopefully like we see Shalom. Right, um, uh, this, 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 this video is just going in on, on the men that, 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 that um, make the Lord look weak or make, make, the, make the Lord look as though in a box, meaning that he, he, he don't have no power to come out from that box, meaning that he's limited to what, to what he really can do. You understand? These men make the Lord look, look, look simple, look weak. You understand? They make him look like, they make him look like the cracker that, that, that the image that they have everybody watching. Weak, right? And, and uh, just talking on these men, that 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 so-called say they in the truth but they are not because if in the truth and they say that 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 you have shy and feed the multitude come on man where's that right and that that, that was nazarian and, and these these men saying right they, they made the lord look weak come on and say that all the char um the the so-called ufos and all the charts they things to make the lord look weak the lord create these things right so this this is going into this word here omnipotent, right? The word om, omnipotent. Salat. Right? It say of a deity having unlimited power. Now, here's where this word come on from. This is Revelation 19 verse 6. 6 right? Revelation 19 verse 6. It say, and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude. And as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Right? And the word omnipotent means what? Having unlimited power. So, so, the, so our Lord has unlimited power. But you all make the Lord seem weak. Ain't the Lord doing all these things that, that happen on this earth? Right? Ain't the Lord making, making his child be seen to his prophets? The Lord doing all these things. The, the scriptures say here, the Lord is, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. And the word omnipotent means having unlimited power. It say having great power and influence. Right? It say Middle English as a divine attribute via all French from Latin omnipotent, all powerful. Right, it means all powerful. So our Lord, our Lord God is what all powerful. Right, you're making the Lord seem weak, man. Come on, I'm breaking all these scriptures and say you share and, and feed the multitude. Yeah, right, with bread. Come on, come on. The chariots in the chariot, the UFOs in the chariots. So-called UFOs in the chariots. All these, all these set of breakdowns you're doing, you're all making the Lord look powerful. Right? Because the scripture is saying here is omnipotent, unlimited power. The Lord could do whatever He please. The Lord could do whatever He please. Right? I'm going to go to our next scripture here. They should, they should show that. He do what you do whatever He did, what He want to do. You can't deny that. You can't make the Lord look, look as weak. Come on, man. We're here to glorify the Lord. Right? We're here to glorify the Lord and magnify His power. In scriptures say, um, knowing, the, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. What that means, we know in the terror. Because we know how powerful, we know what our Lord could do. We know how terrible the Lord is. Right? We know how terrible the Lord is. Okay. This is um, Daniel 4 verse 35. Right? It say, and all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing and he do it according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth the lord the lord do whatever he, he whatever he will whatever he feeling to do he do right you all can't deny that you all want to make the lord look weak hey the lord yahweh shami Oshai, ain't no weak god right these these just some makeup gods that that these other nations have they weak right Jesus, that that that's that pity be seen that all in these churches, all these images to show you, he's he weak. He ain't omnipotent. 
right? In in omnipotent, but the God of the Bible, right? He is omnipotent, as the Revelation say, unlimited power. This is Daniel four verse thirty five again. It say and 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 all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he do it according to his will in the army of heaven. Right? So according to what he want to do. Did any Lord kill? He make a life? Hmm. What, what, what kind of power is that? Ain't that omnipotent? And say here, and he do it according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand. None. None can do that. Or say unto him, what doest thou? None could say that to, to Yahweh Hashem or Shai. None. Could say, why are you doing this? No. Because he do it whatever he will. Right? He do whatever he will. Your path, you walk in. Or the path you going on, the Lord, the Lord do that. And that is a frightful thing. And that is where the fear come in. So don't make the Lord look weak. Right? Got okay, next scripture here. This is Daniel 4 verse 17. This theme down here. It says the matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most I rule it in the kingdom of men. Right? And that is omnipotent power. Right? If he, he rule it in a kingdom of men and he do it whatever he, he will. Right? Whatever he do is like checkers. The Lord playing checkers. It's he making the moves. Right? It said, the intent that the living may know that the most I rule it in the kingdom of men and give it it to whomsoever he will. And then Daniel stated, he, 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 whoever he wants to give the earth to, he will. That he says, you can't deny that, you can't go and say, God, why are you doing that? No. And that is to show the power of the Lord. And give it it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it, the base of men. And to show you this, that that just to show you the power of the Lord, right? If you go, if you if you just watch the meaning here again, it's a omnipotent. It's say of a deity have an unlimited power, right? It's a all powerful, almighty, supreme. It's a the most high, preeminent, right? And that just to show you how powerful the Lord is. Now you all you all stating that the Lord um girl certain things like the UFOs and chariots and all these set of, all these set of other mad statements you all be making daily. You are making the Lord look, look weak. You are making the Lord look, look like one of these hidden gods. But, yeah, but the Lord in the Bible, Yahweh, Yahweh, which is the Father and Yahweh, which is the Son, the powerful man. Come on, stop making the Lord look weak. You all put Esau on a high pedestal, but you all in pain, the Lord on no high pedestal. Say the Lord this, the Lord can do this, and the Lord can come on, man, be real with yourself. The Lord could do whatever He will, and the Scriptures prove that, right? Go to our next Scripture here. Let's see if I get it here. First. This is um, 1 Chronicles 29, chapter 29, verse 11. It said, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the, majest the majesty, right? the ma majesty, for all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. <laughs> thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. And there is a perfect scripture to show you. The power of the Lord, the um, um the um, how om omnipotent He is, how all powerful He is, how supreme He is. Reading over that again, and I just show you the prophets back then. They used to glorify the Lord. They glorify the Lord. They sh they, they talk about His power, the things He do, right? The things He could do, the things He is going to do, right? But these coffers and these corners today, they made the Lord look weak. They best to just 
going to go to church and let's listen to that weak ass doctrine. So this first Chronicles 29 verse 11, it said, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the, the majesty for all, for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. All. It didn't say some. It didn't say part. It said for all is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. In earth, outer space, whatever, wherever it is, in this, in this universe, it is the Lord's own, right? It said, Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. And we, we, we exalt Yahweh above all. We do that. But you scoffers and scorners, man. Come on and scoff and scorn, and you all don't even know the scriptures to, to show that the Lord controls everything. State. If, if a man could come out and state that Yahweh Shai didn't feed the multitude, the multitude with the bread, but where's that? Didn't the scriptures say we, we would do things? Um, the scriptures talk about. Um, let me get that one time. It's a roughly paraphrasing. Let me get that. Let me get that. This is John chapter 14, verse 12. It says, Very verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. Huh. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto, unto you, my Father. So greater works you will do. But these men don't know that. Let's just show you, they're not in the scriptures. All they want to do is come against the apostles of GMS, the elders of GMS. They try to, they try to, they, they want to go so deep they, they go so deep that that they drown themselves they ain't even breaking all the scriptures correct no more but the one thing you can't do is make the lord look weak man you make the you come on man come on let's just thinking about it alone it, it just rage you know it just get, get your spirit upset the lord could do whatever he want and i just to show you his power is omnipotent that is why i look up the word here and it, it, it actually it's written in the scriptures and i'll read that scripture again i'll read that scripture again revelation 19 verse 6 and i heard as it were the voice of a great multitude and as the voice of many waters and as the voice of mighty thundering saying hallelujah for the Lord God omnipotent reign it. Come on, man. And the elect is the elect. The elect is who go and glorify the Lord. It's the elect go and exalt the Lord. And 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 faith is in the Lord. That now you see you can see the men of the Lord talking about the things the Lord coming to do, talking about the, the chariots, talking about the things the Lord did before, what, what, what he always shared before. Right? Talking about these things. If we have faith, if we have faith in the Lord to come and destroy this place, and if the Lord come and to burn on this place, it's scripture say like an oven had this place, hot like an oven, burn like an oven, then what kind of power is He coming with? Right? What kind of power is the Lord coming with? Alright, so, you know, that, but, uh, and I will do our next video on this, you know. So with this, we give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakha, Kodash, 
We see double on the apostles and elders of Great Milestone and rule well. And salutations to the Akim out of the pushing the road around 2030. They will feel like we see shallow one. Again, you know, the brothers, brothers outside, they keep on glorifying the Lord. Keep on raising the Lord, exalting Him. Right? Keep on doing that. Right? Trusting the Lord. Right? So with that again, we see shallow one.